happy Friday! It is Friday. I can't believe like a week ago today we were on our way to Disney. <laughs> And this morning while I was getting my makeup and stuff on, I've been watching the Tim Tracker. He's been doing the, or today's video was the 12 days of um, hot dogs at Casey's Corner. So, wow, more power to him for going and having a hot dog every single day. I mean, honestly, that is like such a really cool challenge to do. But like, that's a lot of hot dogs. But props to the Tracker for doing it and sharing all that, sharing all of that with all of us. That was amazing. But... Anyway, so today is Friday, and today I'm going to finish getting the rest of my Christmas stuff down. You guys can still see I have my tree up in there. I have my tree here that I have to do. But pretty much everything that's been laying around the house is pretty much done, gone, and put away. Brian and I put all of the totes away last night that um, needed to go up into the... Um, a cave, the man cave, we call it the man cave, but the carport above the, where Brian parks his car and his truck. Um, so we, we put all of our totes up there. I still have a few totes that obviously I have to fill up, which is these trees that are still up here, which I still have a tree in Wonderland headquarters that has to be put away and the ornaments off of that tree. So, but basically what I'm going to be doing today is I actually need to run again to the PO box because I went there. When did I go there? Two days ago and it was full. So I'm gonna go back today and see if it's full again. And then I need to run by the bank because I never did do that the other day when I was out. And then what else was I gonna do? Oh, probably stop off at Lowe's really quick to pick up a couple of more totes and then come back home and start putting stuff away. So I thought today I would, you know, get all pretty and primpy to put Christmas trees away. Right? Why would I do that? That was probably a bad look too. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> that will not be a thumbnail. I promise you that. <laughs> but I do sit here sometimes and practice thumbnails because I'm like, hmm, should this be a thumbnail? Hmm, hmm, should this be a thumbnail? So you guys, I have this robe on that I got on Amazon and I will leave a link to it down below. But the, when I say I'm gonna leave a link, you guys just click on my Amazon link and it will take you directly to my Amazon market where I put all of the stuff that I purchased. So it's just a lot easier to just to do that than to find the link all the time. But anyway, I put this, I bought this robe because I kind of been wanting a robe to wear like as soon as I get out of the shower, even though sometimes I'm blazing hot when I get out of the shower. But sometimes like this morning I was a little chilly so I needed to put a robe on. And my battery is dying. It happens all the time. I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so you are now fully charged. So, where was I at? I don't even remember, so we'll just start from another spot. Okay, so I stripped my bed this morning because it was just time to strip the bed. <laughs> And because I didn't do it last Sunday because we had just come home. So I just figured today's a good day to do it. And I have some new sheets coming in mail today. I ordered some more from Pioneer Woman. And not the same like gingham color. The red and the white or whatever. Or coral and white, whatever. Um, I did order like a really pretty blue floral one. So I really, really like those sheets. And somebody asked me the other day how well those sheets are holding up. And so far, so good. I think I've washed those sheets three times now. The red and white ones. And they've held together really well. I will, I have one slight complaint. And I don't know if it was just because they weren't on the bed fully or whatever. But it kind of seemed like they were coming off on the corners down here. And I'm like, oh yeah, no, 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 no. Not going to be happy with those if they keep doing that. But I did, you know, I had used them like almost this whole month of December, washing them in between. Thank you though very much. And um, so I don't know. We shall see. So I'm going to see what these other ones, obviously when they come in the mail today, I'm going to throw them in the wash machine and then I'll put those on our bed for this evening. And then obviously I will let you guys keep you guys updated on how those sheets and stuff are holding together. If they're going to stay in place, the other sheets stayed in place. They just kept like slipping and they never came off. They just kept slipping up. And I'm just like, Hmm. Yeah. I'm not liking that at all, but you know, we shall see. Uh, but I, right now I'm going to go ahead and get myself together, get my hair done because it's up right now and it's wet 
and I need to get it blow dried. I usually like to have it air dried just a little bit because that way it doesn't take forever to blow dry. So, um, and then I spray my blow dry stuff in it. So, oh yeah, I have to go to the grocery store today too. That just hit me. So anyway, lots of stuff I got to go do today and a lot of stuff that I want to get done. I really, really want to get all my Christmas stuff put away because I actually started bringing out some of my Valentine's stuff yesterday. And um, let's go take a walk. Shall we? Let's go take a walk in the kitchen. And let's go take a look. And I still have stuff like laying everywhere in the kitchen. I mean, I still have like this stuff, which I washed. I just haven't put it put it anywhere yet because I don't know where to put it yet. Um, lights. Okay. So I pulled out, like I said, some of my Valentine stuff out of a tote yesterday. So I have these gorgeous little Mickey and Minnie's, which I absolutely love these. Aren't these the cutest? They're like such a, almost like a vintage Mickey and Minnie. So I love them. So I got those guys pulled out. I got this at Hobby Lobby. How cute is that? So I put this out yesterday. Um, these were in my Christmas wreath. So I pulled those off the wreath. And then here's one of my like plaques that I have, my plate that I have out. And then some of, I did this like I think last year, painted that red. And then I have all of my mugs and stuff out that I'll be utilizing for Valentine's. And then I just kind of put that together up there. Not exactly sure I like it yet, but we'll figure it out anyway. But anyway, those, so that's just, again, stuff's just sitting here. I have to dust off this table. And I haven't decided if I want to put the table back by the front door or not, or if I want to leave it in here. So you guys let me know what you guys think. Should I leave it in here or should I take it back and put it in the foyer? The reason why I'd rather put it back in the foyer is because the foyer area is so dark that it just gets so dark in there. See, and the only light that comes through is from those two um, windows right there. So, but other than that, I always have a light in there and it stays so nice and bright. And then I'm not afraid to like walk through here thinking there's going to be like a ax murderer in there or something. So I always feel like if there's a light going, there won't be an ax murderer. Maybe. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. So yeah, other than that, like I said, I have a lot of stuff I got to do today. So I might as well stop chop, chop. I might as well stop chatting <laughs> and get started with my hair. <laughs> hi, yay, yay. It's Friday. Yay. <laughs> so, yeah. I forgot to tell you guys the weather. Whoa. It's, uh, it's raining. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is not going to be a fun day outside. I'm not looking forward to this at all like <laughs> I'm hesitating <laughs> I gotta go get this stuff done so must go out in the rain we're supposed to get like three inches of rain just like today just today that's crazy <gasps> oh and it's Friday and Brian forgot to set the garbage out and guess who's not gonna do it <laughs> me I am so not setting that garbage out heck no oops <laughs> I don't want to do this with the rain. Look at me. I'm trying to convince myself that it's okay to do this in the rain. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to go get groceries in the rain. I don't think that's going to happen today. Because that's a pain in the butt to push a cart. Speaking of pushing a cart in the rain, I want to just make sure that I have my umbrella. I want to make sure that I have my umbrella. Just, you know. Oh, and I wanted to tell you guys, I got this sweater. This is the sweater that I got the other day on Amazon. I think I got it yesterday in the mail and I shared it with you guys. And I actually love it. I love the length of it and everything. It's really, really nice. I actually want to order a couple more like in different colors. If they have like different colors. I think I want to do that because this is a really great sweater. It's really thin. It's not like, um, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's not like real thick either. It's really lightweight. Love the way that it fits. Love the way that it looks. And I just think it'd be great. You know, so I think I want to order a couple more and I have my umbrella. So off we go to Neverland. Alrighty, so I just got back from running a few errands. I did end up going to get some groceries. I have some there. I have some here. I have some over there. I actually got a lot of groceries this time around. Um, <clears throat> then I came home and I choked and I peed my pants. And that happens. So, 
Anywho, I, while I was um, choking, or not choking, while I was carrying in my um, groceries, the um, mail ran, yeah, and they delivered my sheets. And these are the sheets that I had ordered. These are the ones I was telling you guys about that I knew were coming in today. And I just love the ruffle on the side. Again, these are the Pioneer Woman sheets, the king size set. And then I always order an extra pillowcases to go with them because these come with king pillows and I also use a standard pillow as well on our bed. So I always order an extra set. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go throw these in the washing machine. I'm gonna come back and get all of my groceries out and share with you guys what I got. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get started on the grocery haul. I got some Canada Dry Ginger Ale, got some Cokes. Velveeta Mac and Cheese, I love these, like seriously on a rainy day like today, perfect for my lunch. I got a butt because I definitely want to um, put this in the crock pot one day next week. Got some hot dogs, got some turkey sausage, and got some turkey ground beef, or ground meat, not ground beef, lean ground turkey, because <clears throat> I plan on making tacos sometime as well. Um, this is for fajitas. <clears throat> this is, I got some cheese for some sandwiches for like over the weekend. So pepper jack, cheese, and some Swiss cheese. Uh, I got some uh, chicken breasts in a can so I can make some, maybe some chicken salad. Got some lemons, got some guacamole for chips. I picked up a couple of new containers. I picked this one up. I'm gonna actually put my spinach and artichoke soup in this one after I wash it, of course. And then I picked up these ones because I just kind of needed new containers and I'm just so sick of the plastic ones like getting all war. So I'm gonna throw some of those out and I can't find lids. I really need to go through that again. But anyway, um, so I picked up these glass containers and they have lids. So I'm hoping that those ones will work out a lot better. And then over here, I picked up some eggs. I picked up some onion bread, because this is what I like to have on my sandwiches. I picked up some tomatoes. I picked up some milk and some lactose-free milk for Brian. Some more oranges. Three bags of edamame. He loves eating edamame. I do too, and I'm in the mood. Um, sharp cheddar cheese. I picked up some unseasoned cubed stuffing. That is for that green bean and chicken like casserole that I make in the crock pot. So good. Uh, I picked up some cracked pepper turkey breast and some off the bone black forest ham for sandwiches and some baby spring mix for salads. Taco shells for those tacos that I wanna make. And then bacon, because I want some bacon on my sandwich. And then I picked up these little um, Rote Rick Fusion. Like, you put them in the microwave, I believe. But anyway, these ones look really good. This is carrots, beets, apples, and sweet potatoes. So I thought that looks super good. And then this one is Brussels sprouts, red and red with red bell pepper. So I thought it'd be pretty good with, like, maybe my uh, beat my butt over there when I put it in the crock pot. Got some tortilla chips for the um, sandwiches. I got some green beans for that casserole. Some jalapenos. I got some more of the balsamic glaze. I picked up some citrus vinaigrette and some tamari ginger dressing. Did I say jalapeno peppers? Bacon bites for salads. I picked up some honey mustard because I was gonna do um, like chicken nuggets one night or chicken fingers and I forgot to get some chicken fingers. But, and then I got some sliced pepperoncinis. And then down here, these were $6.99 a piece. So I picked up two of those. So now I'm all like stocked up with my paper towels. And I did go to TJ Maxx and I picked up a few things at TJ Maxx while I was out. Um, I picked up a couple of outfits for little Miss Parker, which is my niece, my, my great niece, Courtney's having a baby. And so I picked this little outfit up. It's really cute. It's gold. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it's got like a little gold bow and some gold stuff on the shirt. And then they're like little jeans. How cute is that? And then I picked her up this cute little like sleeper with little feeties, little bunny on it. Super cute for that one. And then my brother's um, baby is due in January. And so I pick this up. Let's see if I can turn it around. It's got a cute little, what is this? A cute little like elephant on the front and it's blue. And then the pants are like gray with that blue that matches. And then it came with some socks. So I got this for them. So that'll probably be part of their Christmas as well. And then in here, I picked up two heart pillows for Valentine's. 
And then I picked up two. Oh, these were on sale, which I was very happy about. They're like spools of Christmas yarn. And I just love the way that they looked. And they were $6.99 with 50% off. So I got those on sale. And then I picked up these two candle holders. Because, like, I need more candle holders. Like, I need a hole in my head. But these were pretty good uh, price on these. So I picked up two of those. Those are going to go on my mantle. And then I just have to buy candles for them. And that is it. And I put those sheets in the washing machine. And now I've got to put some pants on because yeah the accident yeah um but in that's uh, i'll be 46 and in, in march so hey welcome to your 40s right uh so i'm gonna put these groceries away and then get started with putting my christmas stuff away again so that's what i'm going to do off i go i gotta get this stuff done before like brian will be home probably around 3 15 or so and it's 12 30 now so i'm gonna put this stuff away and i'll check back with you guys a little bit and i stopped off at my p.o box while i was out as well and i only had one card so thank you very much for sending this card i definitely appreciate it and you can look forward to getting a card from me in the mail very soon thanks again Alrighty, so i thought i'd put some pants on before i got started so I put some pants on <laughs> and they actually just match my sweater. So it looks really, really cute. Um, while I'm going to be putting the rest of my Christmas stuff away. So I kind of explained to you guys yesterday that these are my, sorry, these are my glass. These are glass ornaments and these are the, excuse me again. These are the ones I always put inside this container, which is always in my kitchen, but I always place them in here because then they're safe. <laughs> for storage so this is usually where i put all those obviously i do them one at a time as not to break them and they always seem to do pretty well just packing them away like i do and then i will put another piece of paper on top here just like this so just to protect them even more just to give them a little bit extra 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 because i really don't i really love these um ornaments and i really don't want them to break i think i've had a couple of casualties through the years with these but other than that these are like my favorite ones and i don't ever put glass obviously on my christmas tree because i'm a klutz and i will break something so and then we used to have cats so they used to play with these as well not these ones but ornaments but Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just stack these inside of here. Then these ones will be all done. And then, like I said, I never did go get another tote. So I'm definitely gonna be needing to go get another tote. Oh no, how do I not have enough room in here? I always put these in here. How do I not have enough room? Come on, come on, come on. I have two more. I always have enough room for these. Oh no, I don't think the lid's gonna fit. And I don't wanna smash it down. No, okay, so. I'll take two of these out and I'll just put it, wrap them up and put them someplace else. That way these will fit. Yep, perfectly. So they fit perfectly right inside of there. So these I usually just kind of leave sitting underneath our Christmas tree as like decoration or whatever. Um, but I just put these in a tote when it's time to pack everything up. So that's what I'm gonna be doing with these. I'm actually just gonna set it right over here next to this tote and that way i know i have to put it in a tote i almost dropped them that wouldn't have been great so i'll just leave them there so yeah and then the next thing i have to do is pull out my christmas tree um skirt and then next year i'm just going to get one of those um tree bibs or whatever you want to call them so i gotta take the rest of the stuff off my christmas tree and try to put it in here i think some of those are just the bigger ornaments that can't fit my regular ornament thing so i'll just put those in here and then put the lid on this and then this will be ready to go so let's get started look at that crap that i have been dusting up off of the floor because every time i clean or move something i always make a bigger mess and that's part of the mess and so i've been sweeping and cleaning and sweeping and cleaning <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so I took down these Christmas wreaths, hung back, hung my 
galvanized tin stuff back up so I can stick my flowers inside of there. I took down my garland from up here and the other wreath from over there and then I hung up my black and white garland, which I need to put my black and white pillows back in here. Right now, they're over there. I moved the bench as well. So I put my bench back in here, which this looks really cute too. Um, but for now, I moved the bench back in here and I put the table back in the foyer. Ah, I changed things around so much. And um, I, so I can have my lamp back in here. So this is what I did so far, dusted this off, put all this stuff back on here. And uh, now I've just kind of bringing, been bringing stuff down from upstairs that goes over here in this area. Um, I also, did I show you guys what I picked up at Hobby Lobby the other day? No, I, when did I go back to Hobby Lobby? I ran back into Hobby Lobby, I think when Brian and I were out or something, and I picked this up. Look at how cute that is. Love that. It was not on sale or anything. I think it was like $17.99. The, the, no, it's not still on there. But that was like $17.99, and I picked that up. And I just thought, oh my gosh, how cute is that? So perfect for Valentine's, right? And uh, I've been getting all of this stuff straightened out. I did fix that wreath, so it is a little, it is up a little bit higher, which I like. And then I just gotta fill in my stuff here. I've been putting my stuff out here, kind of filling things in um, all over the place, like what I'm gonna put in here, I don't know yet. But this is just all of my greenery and stuff. So I kind of have myself a mess going on and I still have not taken down the trees yet. But I think I'll have to do that. Like Brian's gonna have to help me with the trees cause that tree is awfully big and I have to get on a stool to pull that stuff off the top, which I mean, I can do, but I've just kind of been preoccupied with like kind of moving Christmas stuff around and bringing out all my other stuff so I could empty totes so I could have totes to put the last of my Christmas stuff in. So I did dust off my table. So I dusted all of my table off and cleaned it all off and put that back in the center with the candles. This has to go back up on top of my china cabinet. Whoops. And then um, these plant plants and stuff have to be put in their proper places. And then I did start kind of cleaning this stuff up over here. Like this was on that little table and I had like ornaments and stuff in there. So I just kind of started straightening stuff up in here. Again, doesn't look great, but it's just as way it's gonna be for now because I'm just trying to get stuff sorted. And it's going on two, it's after two o'clock, after two. And then this is the stuff, a pile, which I'm getting ready to sit down and order some wreath like bags so I could put my wreaths and stuff in because I don't have bags to put the wreaths in. I have one bag and I've already used it. So I need to get a couple of more wreath bags for these wreaths. So yeah, I've been, again, kind of busy trying to get things done. It's, it's a process because when I'm trying to clean at the same time, it's a process because I have to clean off all my table spaces that was just used for Christmas so I could put all my other stuff on. So it's like I said, it's a process. Um, I did um, clean this mirror before I put that up there yesterday. So I took the uh, window spray and cleaned all that off. I dusted off my mantle. And then these are the new um, little candle holders that I got uh, today. So I, I put these here. So I just have to get some uh, candles. I'll probably end up doing like a red candle since I'm gonna be doing the uh, red theme for Valentine's Day. So yeah, so I think with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. Oh, my, you know, the sheets are done in the dryer. I just haven't put them on the bed yet. So that's something I gotta do as well. So I'm gonna sit down here though and order those bags for my wreaths. And yeah, I will, um, Oh, wait, yes. So, let's see. I won't, you guys won't, yeah. I'll be vlogging the weekend, but that'll go up on Monday, so there will be no vlog on, there will be nothing up on Sunday, uh, unless we go do something tomorrow, but I highly doubt it. So there probably will be something up on Monday. Um, but yeah, have a great night. I will see you guys uh, next time in Wonderland.